All right, uh, let's uh, get uh, the latest then with apologies uh, for cutting out of that. Uh, but let's uh, get the latest from our reporter on the ground, Balentam Tetra. Uh, she has been following uh, this uh, march against xenophobia that's currently underway in Hillbrow, Johannesburg. Uh, good afternoon once again uh, to you, Mbali. What's currently happening now? I'm hearing a little bit more noise behind you there where, where you are. Uh, what's currently happening? just state clearly is that the xenophobic march organized by Kopanang uh, South Africa has um, ended. It was concluded after they handed over that memorandum of demands a little bit earlier, just before one o'clock, here at this very uh, police station where Operation Dudula Lida and Santa Lakslamini is being kept. Now you understand that police were there to prevent clashes between the two groups at different ends at which um, are different ends really of um, well at loggerheads rather yes and um, the police were successful in terms of preventing those uh, clashes but what we've seen right now and what has come out right now I've received a voice note from um, COPE leader Dennis Bloom also just rejecting some of the sentiments that came out of that, that march against xenophobia organized by Kopanang Africa saying that they reject the calls for um, Home Affairs Minister Dr. Aaron Mukutwaledi to resign. In conversations, earlier conversations I had with uh, the Home Affairs Minister's spokesperson, Sia Koza, he said that they cannot comment just as yet because they have not been able to read the memorandum of demand, but will then come back to us and respond and give us a response on that once that's been done. So what you see behind me are those Dudula, Operation Dudula members waiting for that update from lawyers representing their leader. We understand that an update is expected at three and we're just moments and minutes away from there. So what you then saw as the, 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 the clock strike three, strike three, people came out in their numbers. I'm just going to step out of the shot so you can see what's happening. People started coming out in their numbers and, and, and started bricketing and chanting slogans in front of the entrance, the main entrance to the police station. A little bit earlier on, something you probably didn't see on air, was the burning of an EFF t-shirt and people singing and chanting around it saying that they are, 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 are against um, the EFF uh, which has labeled the organization as a criminal organization. You'll see that there are political parties, political formations that are here in their support. Uh, you'll see, not Uganda, but you'll see um, someone from the Patriotic Alliance dancing um, over there. You'll see him also just dancing over there, uh, Okeni Kunene from the pa Patriotic Alliance um, here. But there are a number of political formations and political parties um, coming in and out uh, to pledge their support to Operation Dudula and what they're doing. Uh, but it's unclear if he will be indeed released uh, today. So this is what people are doing. You'll remember that the people were here until very late last night also just protesting and picketing the arrest against the arrest of um, the leader. Um, we're just moments away, like I said, uh, from hearing and discovering um, what came out of those talks uh, with the police. Um, I am reminded of something that happened um, of an earlier conversation with Udantalak Zamini uh, interviews. These are interviews that some of them didn't go on air because, you know, when you're doing a story, you, you cut a story here, there, and everywhere. And there was a warning of a revolution that is starting and that we as the media would catch on to it um, once we'll catch the tail end of it like we did with the July unrest. Now you understand that he, this is someone who's constantly on the ground who was issuing the warning at the time. And this then speaks to concerns that were made a little bit earlier about clashes between uh, those who are marching against xenophobia and uh, the, the people here um, and, and which were prevented. But also
also just going back to sentiments that were shared by foreign editor Sophie Mukwena saying that this could potentially be an, another unrest, could lead to another unrest or July unrest because it started very slowly and gradually but it's unclear as to what's happening, uh, what's going to happen and if it's going to lead to massive clashes like we saw during the July unrest. For now though, um, I understand that my colleague Natasha Piri is standing by with one of uh, the political leaders to give us their stance and their reasons for coming here outside this police station where people who are supporters of Zazalak Slamini have been stationed calling for his release. Let's uh, cross indeed to Natasha Piri. I think she's trying to keep the crowd quiet there, which is quite impossible. All right, Natasha, right where you are as well. You know, you're down the street uh, from where Mbalente is, but certainly you can see people singing songs there and you're standing with a representative of uh, Action SA. What are they saying at this hour? Well, Flo, it's actually a representative of the Patriotic Alliance, and I'm joined by Uke Nikunene, and we'll just be talking to him about why he's actually here. Thank you so much for joining us at SABC News. I understand that you're here to pledge your support to Ntanta Lux as well. Yes. Yes, we are here as Patriotic Alliance to support Ntanta uh, because we are all uh, one mind as patriots when it comes to the issue of illegal immigrations, illegal foreigners, that they must go back home. We are together when we say township economy must be in the ownership and in, in, in the hands of the township uh, people of the locals. Uh, Mr. Kunede, some people have said that the rest of Unkanta Lags is politicized. Are you of the same view? Yes, yes. His arrest is very much political. Uh, no one can dispute that unless their mind is not correct. Uh, number one, uh, the way Intansa was arrested tells you that there is a political force behind it because um, his arrest was executed at Kaya FM Studios at the radio station after he did an interview by an army of 30 police vehicles, all of them police vehicles brandishing rifles, arresting one man who is accused at the time of nothing because by yesterday they didn't even know what what to charge him with housebreaking intimidation assault they ended up saying it's housebreaking and uh, damage to property so we are aware that uh, there's a political motive behind it but also when malema is to be arrested or many other politicians whether in the anc they are called by the police and told that they must hand themselves in. Why is Ntlantla lacks an exception? Why couldn't he be called? Why couldn't they send a message to him? They know where he stays, he's always on TV, he's always on radio. Why couldn't they also give him that latitude? Especially because his case is a Sergio one case. He should have gotten a warning on Thursday or Friday after they arrested him on Thursday. They should have given him a warning on Friday that uh, come tomorrow for a parade, a parade that never even happened today because they could not even find the witnesses who were supposed to come and identify him at the parade. I understand you've been talking to the lawyers um, of Mkanta Lags. Can you just update us as to what conversations you were having to, um, with them? Uh, we had a meeting this morning with the investigating officer and the lawyers. And the lawyers' argument is that this is a Sergeant 1 uh, case and Mkanta has to be released on warning so that he can then go to court on Monday. However, the investigating officer insisted that uh, he would like the prosecutor to make that decision. And uh, I was in that meeting and uh, he then found the prosecutor after hours of trying and not getting it right. And then uh, the prosecutor said he was going to meet him at three o'clock. And uh, after that, he will then come and brief us. Once the prosecutor has looked at the docket, he will then apply his mind whether he gets bail today. And uh, as you can see, it's after three. We are here now waiting for the investigating officer to communicate with uh, one of the lawyers and uh, tell him what is the way forward. So, but your, your indications, do you think that he will be released today? Look, if this game is played fairly, if Intanta is not being treated as a criminal, uh, or there is no political pressure on the police, uh, Ntlanta would, would have to be released. There is no case. Uh, if there is a case, it's a Sergio 1, the law dictates that uh, he can get bail. It is the law. It is, not, it is not us. You see, so 
um, but we are aware that they are trying to keep him here for the whole weekend so that he is not able to go to KwaZulu Natal tomorrow to go and launch Operation Tutula in KZN. This, that is what his arrest, we believe, is also about. So, are you not afraid that some criminal elements actually might infiltrate these Operation Dudulas? I mean, uh, you heard that the EFF leader, um, Mr. Chudis Malema, say that once people are done with foreign nationals, once Matua Operation Dudula are done with foreign nationals, it'll start targeting, uh, you know, other uh, South African nationalities. No, 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 no. Julius talks crap. Uh, um, look, um, these operations, whenever they are done, we always invite the police. And Operation Dudula does the same. Even on this case that they are charging him with, he had the police uh, in his company to go and to say, let's go and identify a drug dealer. So he didn't go there uh, during the night and break into somebody's house. The police were there. So you, you ask yourself, uh, why then? Criminal elements always become part of many things, but up to so far, all the operations that have been executed, we have seen the members of Dudula uh, being vigilant, making sure that criminal elements don't interfere. We have seen when they even go into the shops, they call the owner, they say, this is this has expired, where are your papers? So everything has been done orderly till today. So for Julius to come and uh, give his opinion on a matter that he does not even feature. It's irrelevant to what he says. At the end of the day, uh, facts are there to prove themselves. He must just stay uh, on his lane with the illegal foreigners. He is saying illegal foreigners must be kept in this country. He is saying criminality must, must be allowed to, to proceed in this country. He is saying the people must cross the borders of South Africa illegally, which means people must commit crime. So Malema is, an, is encouraging crime, which makes him a criminal, and you wonder why he's encouraging that crime. But that is a topic for another time. But maybe we should remind him, we should remind him that we are patriots, and he speaks not like a patriot. What do you, what do you make um, of... The burning of EFF t-shirts, yeah. Look, uh, people display their anger uh, in many ways. And the t-shirts were burnt as a sign that they are now withdrawing their support from the EFF because they are busy, they are now beginning to see the true colors of, of Malema. Uh, that Uspina Kapoloti in the township language, he uses politics for money, for his own stomach, not for the benefit of the people. So there were burning teachers because he said that Nsantalas must be arrested. And uh, when the case was opened, the EFF was there making sure that this case is opened. Obviously, it is him that gave that instruction. And you can hear again today, they are singing about Malema. So the people are very much unhappy. They have realized that he's unpatriotic. And, and uh, that, that was just that display of anger. Mr. Kunene, thank you so much for your time. We'll thank chat you. to you later on. Uh, Flo, well, that was uh, the Patriotic Alliance's Mr. Ken Kunene, uh, just basically saying that they have come out here to support Untlanta Likes and also saying that the rest of Untlanta Likes is highly politicized, Flo. But of course, we will give you the latest developments in regards uh, to the story. But that said, it's back to you in studio. All right. Uh, thanks very much uh, to Natasha Pierre. My apologies. It was not a representative from uh, Action SA, as you saw there. It is a Patriotic Alliance, uh, Kenny Kunene speaking to Natasha Piri there.